Experts in the uh, oil drilling business have been watching uh, what's been going on in the Gulf of Mexico, including uh, experts here in our state. One of them is Harry Johnson. He is an OU Petroleum Engineering graduate with about 30 years of experience in the drilling business. Good morning, Harry. How are you? Good morning. Fine. Well, what exactly, I guess, hasn't been working in the Gulf? All these attempts to plug this well and nothing has worked so far. Well, I think the uh, truth of the matter is nothing's going to work until those uh, relief wells get down and are able to penetrate uh, the blowout at, at depth and pump heavy mud in to uh, arrest the pressure. Why is that? Uh, why haven't any of these other methods worked? Well, first of all, I think uh, we don't know the total damage to the uh, seafloor equipment. And you have to be very careful because if they were to knock the seafloor blowout preventer off, then you would probably have about uh, a pipe that's about a foot in diameter wide open from the reservoir to the bottom of the sea. And that would be even more oil uh, gushing into the Gulf of Mexico. Yes. Um, this method they're going to try today, cutting these pipes, uh, what exactly will we be looking at in this newest attempt? Well, one of the first things a, a blowout expert will do is get a clean connection. In other words, if you've got jagged pipes sticking up, one or two or three, you need to get a smooth cut, if you will. And that will allow, actually allow more oil to gush out while, before they can even get it get the pipes hooked up to it, right? It could very well because it appears that the uh, the blind rams on the seafloor attempted to close and probably just crimped the pipe, didn't get totally closed. So that's a real real problem. That's, that's speculation on my part, but it right. appears that that's what happened. I know it can be a little difficult to know exactly what's going on from here. You're not a mile down with those submarines. You have something with you here today that you want to show us and maybe give us a little more education on what's been going on in the golf floor. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, we hear a lot about rams, and I think people think of sheep when you do that. <laughs> but uh, uh, the rams are, this would be a pipe ram. And as you, uh, that would fit over the pipe. And if you had a blowout around the pipe uh, in the annular uh, part of the hole, which is what we have, you close that. that okay. The pipe goes right through there. Uh, let me show you, if, if I will, quickly. Okay. Um, if you look right here on on this black pipe, let's assume that's the seafloor. This is a conductor pipe, which is first set uh, on the seafloor. The next is a surface pipe, which protects fresh water. Cut that upside down. Yeah, that would be a problem. And uh, next comes the. Uh, We've heard a lot about the marine riser. Next would be the marine riser. This will go up to the seafloor. Okay. Uh, the next would be your long string. This is what they've already cemented. And uh, uh, that should, if everything's working, that shuts off your formation. Now you've got a totally dead whale. But a lot easier to do in our studio than it is to do a mile underneath the seafloor. Exactly. Yeah. Here's your, your drill pipe. And uh, I'll just put the blowout preventer on there. Now, the seafloor blowout preventer is not a is not a pipe ram, but that will show you how that it fits over and is closed against that. The the seafloor ram is a blind ram, and when it closes, it's supposed to cut everything off, and uh, now you're isolated at the seafloor, wow. and you shut off anything that can come out. Well, obviously, that didn't work. <laughs> Obviously it did, but again, dealing a mile underneath the, the surface of the water trying to do all of that with the sea pressure and the pressure of the oil and natural gas coming up out of the hole. Right, and one of the reasons the, uh, uh, the top kill did not work, your seafloor pressure right there is probably 2,500 pounds per square inch, and I would guess that that well at the seafloor is probably flowing at somewhere between five to 10,000 pounds per square inch, uh, fluids go to the path of least resistance, so obviously most of your stuff is going to go out on the seafloor. Harry, let me ask you one last question. This is strictly an opinion based on your 30 years of experience. If BP and the federal government were doing absolutely nothing while they drill this relief well that won't be ready till August, everybody would be screaming bloody murder. Are we just making attempts that they know pretty much aren't going to work until that relief well just to give us the comfort of knowing that somebody's trying to do something? or? Are there chances that this will work? I think you've hit it on the head. I think it's, uh, it's busy work until the relief wells can get down. That is just an opinion, and I hope I'm wrong, but I think you've, you've hit it squarely.
All right, Harry Johnson, a petroleum engineer, 30 years of experience. Uh, we know you'll be keeping uh, a look on things and keep us updated as you see things that uh, might help us understand a little bit more what's going on. I surely will. All right, Harry, thank you so much.